Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Candace, and I'm back with another video. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But if you're old, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to start a business. This is strictly for beginners. So I decided to switch up some things on my platform. So I'm going to be kind of putting out business, entrepreneurship, personal development, and maybe some finance and just ways to help develop one another as well as myself. So I hope you guys are interested. Let's get into this video. Hopefully this will be helpful for a lot of you who want to open up your own online business, um, kind of start becoming your own boss and who's to say. In planning your business, you want to create a business plan. So I know a lot of people jump straight into doing their business without creating a business plan, but it's still necessary. And I know this is something old, but it's still necessary to do a business plan. When you're creating a business plan, this is where you start your researching. This is where you figure out your realistic goals for your business and how you want everything to flow. So when you first start your business out, it's not going to be perfect. So you want to come up with a business plan, steps to get to where you really want to go when you first start your business. You want to research a lot of different things that contains your business that you want to start. There's something that you can always go back to when you have to rebrand or have to step back into reason why you started the business in the first place. So in creating your business plan, you want to research your wholesalers, you want to research your vendors, where are you getting the product from, who is your target audience, who is your competitors. You also want to come up with a business name. You also want to sample your products or whatever it is that you, even if it's clothing, you want to test out the quality. If it's products, you want to test out the product. Make sure you test it out on yourself before you sell it, especially if you're going to do something that has your particular brand on it and your business will be your brand this will be your baby okay so you want to make sure everything is perfect everything is the way you would like it to be you want to look up and search descriptions into whatever items that you want to sell you want to look up the cost of supplies you want to look up how long does it take for your items to ship do you also want to see what profit you can make you want to know the pricing to everything that you need so you can see how much you'll be putting out and how much you need to charge for each item for whatever you're trying to sell. So you want to calculate how much it will cost for you to start up your business. Write everything down. You want to have it in a notebook, your tablet, binder, whatever you guys. Also, when you come up with a business name, you want to research. You want to get on USPTO.gov. You want to go to trademark search and you want to search to see if that name that you have came up with it hasn't been taken you want to do a lot of your research before you just take off with the business okay so once you have got on uspto and you have research and you see if no one has that name if someone has that name you don't want to try to push that out there to make a business off of someone else's name okay so you want to make sure no one has your name you also want to get on social media and you want to search to see if anyone else has that name <clears throat> and that is running a business with that particular name so you want to be mindful of when you start your business, you want it to be legal and you want it to be right because you don't want to get into something where you're selling a lot of stuff. You get comfortable with your name and then on down the line, someone comes and they basically it's a big issue with you taking their name and however. Okay, and after you made funds and money off of this. Name. Now it's time to go ahead and create your domain. Register for your domain. Your domain name, you can go to godaddy.com and register for the domain. You can go to whatever website builder you decide you want to go to, like Wix, Shopify, all of those, either one of those you can go to to register a domain. Um, GoDaddy, I know for sure, I think it's 11 to $14 a year once you first sign up and then it renews every year. So you want to go ahead and get your domain name created. You want to set up a business email. You want to set up a business number. You want to think about what address you're going to use to start off with, or if you have a certain place, a location that you're using, or, or you can pay for an address for your business as well. We can talk about that later on. So once you have picked a website builder that you are interested in using, a lot of people use Shopify, um, Wix, um, Squarespace, um, you could possibly, I think GoDaddy used to be a website. I mean, I'm pretty sure you still use GoDaddy. Whichever one you guys decide to use, you can go ahead and set up your website. All right, so now we're going to step into business development. 
business development is more on the business side, the legal side, the license and stuff like that. So once we have established that you have a business name and you're ready to kick it off with this business and you're ready to go full force and this is something that you, that you are passionate about and this is something you actually want to do. So you want to go ahead and apply for your business license. Um, you can go down where you get your driver license from. That is how it is in our state. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not sure for other states, but it doesn't cost a lot. It might be a way that you can apply online for it, or you can go down there and get it. It ranges different from whatever type of business that you are applying for or trying to get started. So you want to go ahead and try to get your business license and the necessary um, permits and license that you need for your business. And we're not talking about your LLC and all that stuff yet, but I'm saying like your seller's permit, um, different types of permits that you need as far as that falls under the business license umbrella just a little bit, not too much on the LLC side just yet. Next, once you have applied for your business license, you want to go ahead and go to irs.gov and apply for an EIN number. An EIN number is basically your social security number for your business. So this is something that you want to keep up with. So you would use this for a lot of different things that you would do for your business as far as applying for LLCs and bank accounts, all that you would need your, for your EIN number because you don't want to file everything under your social security number. So you want to make sure you get your EIN number. You have done your research back before when I told you to look on USPTO.gov and see if the name that you came up with, the business name has been taken. So once you have applied for your business license, you have got your EIN number. You want to go ahead and try to at least apply for a trademark. Um, there's two options that you can do to start out with. Uh, if you can afford a worldwide trademark, you can also do one for your state. You can go to Secretary of State and you can file a trademark on your business name for that particular state. Um, until you are able to afford, if you can't already afford a worldwide or worldwide trademark is around $250, 260 something dollars. If you go straight to USPTO.gov and apply straight that way, or you can go through LegalZoom. LegalZoom is a little more pricier. They search for state and federal for you. LegalZoom does. So um, it's a little bit more pricier and they handle pretty much everything. Um, when you, once you apply for your trademark, you want to go ahead and have that started in the beginning because it's going to take a while to actually get it. Um, it depends on how the process is. Mine took a year. So you want to be mindful of how long it might take to get your trademark. So you don't want to put too much of your business name out there and then someone take it and you haven't got it trademarked yet because that will happen. So we'll talk about that in another video. If you have applied for those things, you want to go ahead and what everybody's hollering about is your LLC. Now you have your trademark out the way then you want to go ahead and try to apply for your llc so it all depends on where you apply for your llc a lot of people apply for llc's out of town like out of state from where they are from because it's cheaper it's up to you you can apply for their secretary of state or you can go down to probate court and file for it it's like 150 dollars. it just depends on your location but for my state it's 150 dollars. or you can go through legal zoom and you can apply for your state or whatever state you would like to apply for a little more a little bit more pricier you'll probably be looking at 200 and something dollars um but they'll have all the legal work everything for you the attorneys and everything will look over and have it all ready for you to go as well as if you were to do a secretary of state which it wouldn't take long at all if you have your llc now you can open up you a business bank account um maybe when you first start out you want to see how your business go before you get one if you have bad credit and you don't want to use the same bank you want to use something that's not one of the popular banks as far as wells fargo and bank of america you don't want to use those type of banks you want to go to like a credit union or a community or some type of bank some type of bank like that to get your business account started. Okay, so you also want to go ahead and register for your Dunn's number. This is you can do this on um, Dunn and Bradstreet.com where you register with them. Also register and get a Dunn's number, which is for free. So we're getting to the steps where you can have all your licenses and all your things in place because this will help you build up business credit. These are things that you would need to start building your business credit as well, and also to be able to apply for grants and get funding for your business. But when you're on that register for your Dunn's number, you want to go to the Dunn's and Bradstreet.com. Like I said before, you want to register with them. Dunn and Bradstreet is basically just like Equifax with your personal credit. This is more for your business credit. So this is basically how you will look on 
Equifax to see what your credit score is. This is Dun & Bradstreet. It's basically you're registered to see like what your credit score. Once you have set up your websites and everything, you want to make sure on your websites that you have set up a PayPal account, you have set up a Stripe account. Also, you want to try to set up other accounts. Also want to set up your cash app just in case you have on hand deliveries. Um, you want to set up just Apple Pay, whatever it is that's on your website, you want to go ahead and register your business information onto those payable things. So to be honest, you want to get paid in any and every way. So you want to make sure you create all those accounts where people can make payments through. All right, so the next thing we're going to get into is product development. So product development is basically you're going to get everything. So go ahead and get your products, your inventory, all the supplies that you need necessary for your business. This is where you create samples for your products, get them ready for a promotion when you get everything set up. So you want to make sure you get all your products in, get a starting number to 25. If you if you're starting, you might can start out with 25 to 50 products. If you feel like you'll sell a little bit more than that, you can go 50 to 100 and however much you feel like you would sell out on. It just depends on the person and how you're starting. Um, so you want to go ahead and get your products in. You want to go ahead and get your supplies in, everything that you need for your business. You want to make sure your descriptions, everything is set and ready to go. And so you want to come up with your packaging, how you want your packaging to look. Do you want to have certain images, um, flyers, business cards? colors scheme and your product your product together your um, shipping label and so brand development will be the next thing brand development you want to go ahead and create your logo um you can go to fiverr.com if you're not tech savvy you can hire someone to basically come up with some not some designs for you um for your logo or you can do it yourself on canva.com or as well as pickmonkey you can come up with your own logo. But once you set your logo, you want to get some business cards, business flyers for your local people or people that's around you. Flyers that you can put in your packaging or as well as pass them out for discount cards. It's up to you. This is the time to figure out your colors. Um, what are your logo, your packaging color? What is your brand color? This should all be in the very beginning from when you did your business plan. Once you already established your colors, your logo, your business cards, your basically your promotion part of it um you want to go ahead and get your photos or your products together create your content for your social media once you have to do that you will jump into what we call is the marketing part once you do your marketing you want to get some products together if you have friends family or you can reach out to some of these influencers send it to their p.o boxes or email them in regards to hoping that they will apply you can send them products and test out your products as well as promote your products um i wouldn't really pay a high dollar amount unless you're able to pay an influencer to basically test out your product or promote your product for you um this is the time you can use facebook and instagram ads um you can pay like for it to go out for a week. It depends on the audience that you're trying to put out, how many people you're trying to reach. And you can do that per week or every two weeks, however you like to do it, or for a month. Um, those ads do add up. Um, but if you want to kind of push your product and put it out there, you can do Facebook ads and Instagram ads. You can also do cross promotion, which means if you have one which means if you have friends or influencers or people that you know that is having that has a business as well is selling products you can promote theirs and they can promote yours or you guys can do some type of collab uh photo shoot or meet up or some type of collab where you cross collab with each other someone who's starting a business just as much as you or you might meet someone who want, who's willing to help you uh, push your business as well. You can also join network groups um, on social media where you or you can meet up and go to these events. Basically networking from a networking group. Um, you can do some type of blog post. You can do something set up for Pinterest. You can set up something as far as on social media, as far as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where people hey for a blog post for people to check out your stuff. Um, you, the cross promotion is very good. Things you can do branches where you sit down and talk and you network with other companies other businesses so this is the time to network your stuff once you have launched your product and got everything going that's the best way to get yourself out there so yeah you guys so once you have done those steps that is when you're ready to of course launch your product you get everything going 
um make sure you keep up your bookkeeping your finances and make sure you don't get to a place where um your inventory is so once you have established all of these things basically your business is now an entity so you can call yourself a business owner make sure you keep up on your finances your bookkeeping also find ways to be creative with your business to keep it going be consistent and set new goals every day every month or every week to keep your business afloat so you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i have more to come um make sure you give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video for all my girl bosses if you are starting a business this year congratulations and let's push through you guys in my next video